up, everybody? My name is Sean Hinton. I'm Nicholas Kilborn. And we are Team Bit. So check this out. Every single week, we post a new video Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube. Go check us out. Team Bit. We can also uh, use your help. Subscribe to our channel. Like <laughs> us. Give the big old thumbs up. Nick, I wanted to talk to you about something. So we just started this last week. Yeah. Right? Okay. And we're uh, still really new yeah. to this whole thing. It can, yeah, it doesn't even feel like it's been a week. No, but it's so exciting because, dude, we're getting like followers from around the world. Yeah, like, like <laughs> that to me, that's so crazy. So like, we had we had somebody from Europe message me, and here's the thing about YouTube, it's so super scary because when I was really thinking about doing this, uh -huh. I was super concerned about the trolls. The you trolls, know who the trolls yes. are. Those are the guys that don't give a flying F about who you are, what you are, what you're trying to accomplish, and just leave crap, right? And don't give you anything other than just trying to troll you. But, yeah, you know, a lot of people treat it like it's a sport, like it's their hobby. Yeah. They're like, I'm just trolling, man. I'm like, what? It's like, <laughs> I'm just purposely yeah. being a douche. Come on. Yeah. So... <laughs> So the negative comments are okay, as long as you know we're, we're getting some constructive feedback on how do we be better. However, I was getting some stuff like from a, a lot of people of like, hey, awesome job, that's a pretty cool start, and they're reaching out giving me some tips on, or us some tips on how to, how, how it was them, or how it was for them yeah, for yeah. the first time. And I'm like, man, this is so cool. There's a community here, you know, it's not just about the trolls it's about yeah. there's there's this really strong community and so i'm reading these comments and i'm like you know what thank you that's awesome it's it's inspired me to really want to continue to pursue this and uh keep the blogging going because yeah, yeah. you know there's 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 that type of community and i wanted to do a really special shout out to our friends and family who've been nothing but supportive of this whole thing i mean i've basically rearrange my room in my house to <laughs> to do this <laughs> and uh thank you my lovely wife for allowing that to happen honestly right yeah you uh, get a whole room that's cool <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> and uh but the uh the support you guys have been given is awesome and we're going to continue to get better you know we're not perfect we're still kind of clueless in this whole scheme of things uh i think we have a pretty good start though yeah we're doing okay i hate being on the camera so me I mean, too. I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like I was saying, each and every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to be posting a Let's Play of like our favorite video games. Uh -huh. Or it could be something that's uh, brand new. So we'll have kind of an impressions video. You know, like, hey, was this game good or bad? What do you think about it? Those type of things. Yeah, yeah. And we're also going to do, yeah, like we're going to do commentary on some stuff because today... Today we're filming on the 13th, October 13th today, which is the last day of the Star Wars Battlefront beta. So we can't do it right now. But I have a ton of it recorded. Teardrop. That I'm going to bring. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even get to play it. I didn't get to play, play it. So we're going to bring a bunch of footage and just commentate on it, I guess, of my crappy footage of me just getting obliterated constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Who cares? You know, yeah. it's it's. I'm pretty good. I did pretty good. No, you're 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 great. <laughs> Much better than me in gaming. I just like to talk about it. So, <laughs> anyways, so like I was saying, we got a real special game this week, and we're actually going to give an impressions video of Nathan Drake's The Uncharted Collection, uh -huh. or vice versa. I think it's Uncharted Nathan Drake's Collection, which came out last Friday. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't even know it came out. Really? Until you text me, I was like, "Oh, it's out." You know, it was a really, it was a very quick release. It was, and th obviously they're doing that to really push the uh, Uncharted Four, which is, I believe, coming out in March. It's coming up soon. It's coming up soon. So I'm getting prepared for it, and I'm gonna play the shit out of these games right now. And my impression, and we're gonna really kind of dig a little bit deeper as we progress, because we're gonna have some videos of Uncharted. The first one, second one, and the third one. And today we're going to actually play Drake's Fortune. Uh, what I wanted to do, though, is kind of give you guys a, a, a sense of, is it good? Is it bad? Is it stick to what the original was? So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Okay. Awesome. 
I'm gonna do the campaign, and we're gonna start from the very beginning. And Nick, as I'm getting this booted up, what what is Uncharted? What is it about? Why is it such a great game? Uncharted's kind of like uh, Indiana Jones, but like amazing. Um, it's a lot. It's a big mix between Indiana Jones and uh, kind of Tomb Raider esque, you know. Um, but what I love about the game is uh, the story and the characters. It, and uh, like every everything about the game is like pretty much perfect. Everything that they've done with it, like every single one, I think is is pretty much. I mean, they've gotten perfect scores for a reason, you know. Right. <laughs> So, yes, that is exactly what it is. He's, he's, he's really a thief. He's very Indiana Jones-like. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 it's like a, it's, it's, get the, it's got the sense of adventure. Yeah. It's a very movie-like quality production, which mixes up very good, very good gameplay. Yeah. So, we're gonna let you guys listen in on this. So, part of what Uncharted is so special, or why it's so special, is because the characters are so believable and they're and they're lovable too, right? So yeah, that's yeah. Nathan Drake, who's your adventurous, sly, cunning type of individual, and then you got your girlfriend, who's uh, Elena, who's mm -hmm. kind of reporting, I guess, on whatever she's doing, some kind of documentary or something like that. Yeah. And then there's a third character who's really part of this story is also Sully, who's kind of the he's kind of the backbone, the 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 thief of all thieves and really uh -huh. raised Nathan and all this stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. a really, really great story. And it progresses in one, two and three to you know, it, it where you just continue to love the characters. Mm -hmm. But with the gameplay, this is I would say everything in one. Mm -hmm. Right, so you got your you got your three D platforming elements. It's an adventure game. You have the third person shooting elements. That's yeah. in the game. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's got everything in the package. Yeah, it's really dynamic. I mean, you don't get bored of it. You know what I mean? And I can tell by this remake. And I'm going to ask you a couple questions about remakes here in a minute. But it looks beautiful. I mean, it, I don't remember it looking like this on the PS3 for sure. So, I mean, it's definitely a lot more stunning. Yeah, it's at 1080 now, I'm assuming. It looks like it's 1080. Um, runs at 60 frames. I think graphics look a lot better when the game runs at 60 frames. Absolutely. Because you can actually capture, like, you can see everything while they're moving and, you know. Gotta get those hey. headshots in. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, Sean noticed this thing that I already noticed in the other Uncharted's, but when Nathan's aiming, he looks like he's aiming really far to the right. Yeah, he's shooting, it, and yeah. it seems to me in this one it's more pronounced. Yeah, yeah. I think they did it for a, like a dynamic look, like at least I think that's why they did it. Look, I think he fired it in the air. <laughs> I love the slow mo capture when you uh, knock somebody out. <laughs> the, so, so there is some issues with the game. Like this is kind of weird to me. He's just kind of floating there. Uh -huh. uh, there is some issues in terms of clipping as well. And then, uh, like it was just the other day as I was playing it, I did that stealth maneuver when you come up from behind an enemy, uh -huh. and he he attacked him. But he tapped him to the right of the, to the NPC, and he did the whole thing in midair, which was bizarre. And then the guy just drops dead. Uh -huh. So I mean, there's some issues with the game. However, I don't think it's enough to say like, yeah, you know, it, it it's it's ruined, because it's not. 
Okay. It's definitely a really fantastic fun game. I like how she actually killed that guy. Socked him in the nuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the NPCs are pretty smart. I mean, they actually do help you. Yeah, like so many games, you have it, like sidekicks that don't do anything. Right. <laughs> So it feels great. I mean, the controls are awesome. It's very responsive. The uh, the gunfire, I mean, it feels pretty good. Except for the fact that it does look a little weird when you're in that third-person perspective. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's re that's weird, right? Like, you're really far off yeah, this yeah, way, but I, it's I, in the middle. I think they're... I, honestly, I just think it's for the look. Just so you can capture like, more yeah, screen? Yeah, because you know Naughty Dog didn't oversee that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those guys are perfectionists. I just read an interview with Nolan North. Did you see that interview? Where he said people don't want an Uncharted movie. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, so Nolan North is the actor who plays Nathan Drake. And he looks like him. He, he does, he absolutely. Like him. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, I read about that. Yeah. I agree I, with him. I don't think they should make a movie. I really don't. It would be too much of, like, an Indiana Jones cop-out. Right? Yeah, it would. And then, like, if they did it, maybe they should make it CG and still have them be the voice actors. Oh, that makes sense. It sounds that, weird. That it sounds sense. weird, but I think that would be like the best way to go. Right. It makes sense though. Yeah. I guess another gripe I would have about this is the the character models. They do look a, like Nathan looks kind of cross-eyed a little bit to me. Oh, does he? <laughs> uh, and the other ones, second and third one, there's just. I mean, it's there's a big difference. I mean, graphically and just. Gameplay-wise, there's a big gap between the first and the second one. Yeah. And then when you get up to the third one, it's even it's even better. So, which is amazing because it's on the same hardware. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like how can they get even push the push the hardware any more than they already did? You know. So, because this is a beautiful game in its own right. I actually looked up and I saw the um, comparisons, the rendering of. Uncharted 3, his face, and then 4 that's coming out, it's it's the same jump. Wow. From like the first one to the third one. Like, wow. He looks like a real human, he looks like a real person in the new one that's coming out. It looks, it looks crazy. So, so this would be considered to a lot of people like one of their favorite franchises, Nick. And I can agree with that. I, it's definitely one of those games that captures you and it's something that really sticks out. So, to me, I kind of want to ask this question for you. Is what makes that game, or what makes a video game unforgettable? What are some of those key elements that make it stand out? Um, I'd say character. Like, you gotta like the characters, you know? Um, I'm big on story. Like, when a, when a movie, when, or when a... A game has really good story and really good dialogue with the characters and stuff. That really draws me in. Another thing is, like, attention to detail and gameplay. I'd yeah. Say. yeah. I, that, that's the big piece, too, is gameplay. I mean, if the game's not fun, forget it. You know, it's like... Well, you nailed it. It's, it's, it's story and primarily gameplay intertwined to make something super special yeah. you know and something that would hold hold over the test of time like for example Super Mario Brothers you can play that game today mm -hmm. where it still has that flawless execution of platforming where it's responsive in the way of what it should be in the the levels the level design you know it's still yeah. it's still fantastic and it's one of those 8-bit games but you know, it's still, it still lives up to this day. And it's, yeah, it does, because, you know, the um, Mario Maker just came out. And those old 8-bit games, platform-wise, I think are better than the new Mario Brothers. Like, new Super Mario Brothers U, I don't really like... I don't really like the controls as much. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the precise pixel controls that you had 
back then, and I can't I can't really get used to it. Right. So he ditched her. Messed up. Yeah, you know, th this is definitely, I would say, is one of those unforgivable games. And the fact is, is that this came out, I believe, in uh, 2009 or 2007. I don't remember. It, I, I can't remember either. It, it, <laughs> either way, you know, and, and so Naughty Dog has been known to play or make, like, your cartoony 3D platformer adventure type of games. Yeah, yeah, they did... Um, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is definitely one. It was uh, another one as well. It was. Uh, it wasn't Dex. No. De yeah. It was it Dexter? Yeah, Jack and Dexter, right? Jack and Dexter, okay. Uh, which is another really strong franchise, too. However. What about Sly Cooper? Who did Sly Cooper? I think they did, too. Did they do that, too? I believe okay. so. Uh, <laughs> so they had these really cartoony type of games. And when I saw Uncharted, I was blown away. I was like, what the heck is this? But I didn't get to it for like a year after it was uh, released. Yeah, I was a latecomer to Uncharted too. Yeah. Look how pretty that is. It looks gorgeous. So, but when I first uh, first played it, I think it was like Christmas time, I, uh, I absolutely fell in love with it. And what was great, it was like, oh my gosh, I got Uncharted 2 coming out in a year. Mm -hmm. You know? So, which made it even better. Yeah. <laughs> So, we've been on like um, we've been on like a fad lately of all these remakes. So, just last week we posted <laughs> videos of Mega Man, the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Uh huh. Yeah. Which is a remake. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I adore it. I think uh, I think they did a great job porting that over. The phenomenal job. Great games. Extraordinary. Uh -huh. Okay. This fantastic. I would say recommend. For a lot of people so i guess my point is is we've been having remake after remake i think we got a resident evil that just came out well not just it was like maybe nine months ago we have resident evil zero that's going to be redone they're remaking zero now yeah they uh <laughs> we had wind waker for zelda that was a remake well they did resident evil uh, 4 too the remake yes <laughs> it's <laughs> Capcom um, loves rehashing. Yeah. So it's not just Capcom though, you know. Yeah, so yeah. there's there, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, a lot of game companies that are doing this. I understand why, you know, it's like I guess you're supposed to jump there. I understand why. It's the, some of these games, you know, cost 100 million dollars to make, if not more, and they want to they want to kind of cash in, you know, they want to make some money back. Yeah, yeah. And I get that because it takes at least a good, like a AAA title, three to four years to make nowadays. You know, you look at uh, you look at Metal Gear Solid, the new one that just came out, and uh, the amount of money Kojima <laughs> spent to make that. No wonder freaking Konami said, "Get, get out of my studio." <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Koj Kojima is awesome. I just uh, I just bring that up because there's just so many remakes, and I'm kind of getting tired of it. And yeah, I don't know what you think on that. I mean, I think you understand where I'm at. I just, uh, I guess timing is everything. You know, this is awesome. It makes a lot of sense that they released it. Um, yeah, well, when, you know, Xbox One came out, there was, like, so many HD, like, the definitive version. Sure. Or, you know, the, what, what would you call the... The HD remastered, it remastered Legacy Collection like, yeah, times 10. I, it's all bullshit. I hate it. I can't stand it. Especially when games come out now, too. It's like, there can't just be one game. There can't just be Star Wars Battlefield. There has to be... Or Battlefront, sorry. There has to be, like, three different game choices. And one of them is always, like, over $100. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that kind of pisses me off. But, yeah, when the, uh, the Xbox One came out, that's when, like, Battlefield 4... They redid Battlefield 4 for... The new console, which didn't even look that much better. I mean, they didn't really brush it up that well. And, you know, you, like you said, yeah, we have all these Resident Evil games coming out. 
that originated from a Nintendo system, but they won't put it on Nintendo for some reason. <laughs> I, I'm getting kind of sick of them, too. I guess that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm kind of getting over it. I am over it. I just... Uh, and I just think that obviously people are buying them and it's it's just giving that fire to the you know or getting some more fuel to the fire I should say for developers to go yeah let's push it let's push it you know I, I even look at Halo dude like what a piece of garbage <laughs> you know, they have this legacy collection that doesn't even freaking the, yeah, work yeah the Master Chief collection holy and shit it's broken I don't know how you even do that like how do you even come out with the Halo trilogy, which I understand that one, that that HD remake makes sense, but how do you release it broken like that? Like oh, it doesn't man. make sense to me. You know, early uh, or late 2014 uh -huh. was notorious for broken ass games, dude. Like the Assassin's Creed game that came out last year was broken. The uh, leg, uh, the Halo game was broken. There was a, there was another one that was broken too, where the uh -huh. online wasn't working. Uh huh. It was just like, are you freaking kidding me? And the only one that you could rely on and uh, ensure that there was some quality work done to make sure it works uh -huh. was Nintendo. Nintendo's the best quality control. I think they have the best quality control. There's no doubt about all it. the other. You know, that was when Super Smash Brothers was Company. released. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to do a Let's Play of Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that game was just incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, the online didn't wasn't completely working properly uh it still had some issues but they were very minor in yeah. comparison to just being completely locked out of the game you know it just baffles me how like going back to halo how a game that pretty much became famous through multiplayer you know it's a multiplayer heavy game that'd be like releasing a call of duty and having the online broken right like it just I, I don't I don't understand it. I never will, really. <laughs> what do you think about the um, that whole COD thing with the 360 where they're releasing multiplayer only without the campaign? I understand that. Like, I understand it. It's like we're, you know, people still that, that still have the 360 and, and the PS3, you know, they're lucky to even have it, to be honest. Because I think a lot of developers just want to start working on the new stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's been out for a few years now at the next gen, and it's time to move on. So, I think people should consider themselves fortunate that it's even coming out on the last gen. That's a gen good point. Now. That's a good point. I would say, though, I don't know how much or how much money it takes and time is to uh, basically create the same game. But obviously it would be dumbed down because you got, you know... Yeah, they'd have to, like, pretty much redo all the, uh... Yeah, I don't know how much time and effort that takes, but you know that there's so many people that still play the PS3 and the yeah. Xbox 360, and there's obviously... And, and developers know that. So it does, it makes sense to me, too. I, I'm not going to buy it. No. You know, I mean, obviously I'm, I've already upgraded everything, and... Uh, I just wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy that. I don't yeah. even think I would buy that, even if they were just doing that on the PS4. Like, you, you know, it's <laughs> like I agree, but you know what? I've always said I was like, why do they even make campaigns anymore? You know what I mean? It is a lot because of everyone focus just on online. yeah, everyone just gets Call of Duty to play online mostly. Yeah. It's like just make Call of Duty online and have like twenty maps or thirty maps, you know, and then charge people like thirty dollars for two maps because that's what they always do. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And, uh, yeah, I mean... And we'll talk about that later, too. All this DLC... Oh, I'm sick of it. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> you know, like... You talking I, about the microtransactions oh, and Oh, microtransactions, yeah. these, you know, hey, uh, pay, pay the season pass, that's $80 for three years of bullshit content. You know? Which they could probably have released at the time of the game came out. Yeah. They're just ripping people off. They're just scamming. And people now, and people are falling for it, which sucks. You know? Yeah. And it, gosh. They they take advantage of like the blind followers that they have. Like not that not that everyone's a blind follower, but you know what I mean? Like Destiny. Look at Destiny. Look how like 
That is the most absurd amount of milking gamers that I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's like the Taken King comes out. Either you buy the new entire like game that you already have of the Taken King, or if you want that DLC, you have to buy the other two DLCs yeah. in order to download that DLC. Yeah, it's, it's like they're using the ladder to like get people to spend a shit ton of money. A lot of really crappy add-ons. Like, they're bad add-ons. They're not, like, adding more planets or anything like that, you know? They're just crappy add-ons. I don't know. Bungie should be ashamed of themselves. They really should. (laughs) I haven't played uh, played that game, so I don't know. Oh, you know? I I have it. We can... uh, Yeah, we have to check that one out. We can rip it if you want. (laughs) It's like, this is the MMO, but it's not an MMO. Right. And it's the RPG, but it's not an RPG. (laughs) So we don't know what it is, but play it and pay all this money. Well, a lot of people. There's a lot of Destiny fans. I know that. It's just. Uh, I don't. You know what? I don't think they're really Destiny fans. I think they're Bungie fans. I mean, you okay. know what I mean? Like that's what I was thinking about. I'm like, how could they just like keep doing this? And you're right. They are Destiny fans, but I think a lot of them are just hardcore Bungie fans that refuse to be like, oh. They're kind of milking us, and right, they're gonna pay everything. They overhype their own game, and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking out for you guys. You know, we don't want you guys to do that. Just pay. T- uh, we want you guys to have fun and enjoy the content, uh, those type of things. But you know, like, okay, this is this is what I don't like. Yeah, you talked. You were here before, right? We and, did this, and then see, look at that. Like, I'm <laughs> now I'm on the ladder, right? So oh, there are okay. some bits and pieces of the like platforming that's kind of weird because you'll you'll be facing a direction that you think you're gonna make that jump, but then all of a sudden he jumps way to the side or something weird. So it's kind of um, sometimes it's annoying, and then you'll drop like four feet and then die for whatever reason. Uh huh. Like I could have survived that fall, but yet he killed me. So. So kind of getting back to. To the Uncharted, you know, I would, uh, I would definitely say recommend to buy for sure. I think this is worth it. It's um, if you've never played it before, like buy it. You know, if you have a PS4, it's definitely should be on your list. Absolutely. You know, and even if you uh, even if you bought it already, I would still recommend it. I uh, I am a trophy whore, so I'm gonna I've platinum all three of the games. Have you? Nice. And then uh, I'm gonna platinum again. Because that's how much I love these games. Yeah, I, I also like um, I like exploring, and I was addicted to trying to find all the treasure in this game. You know, because there's treasure scattered out through every level, right? That you have to find, and that's my thing. <laughs> so I think I'm supposed to I'm supposed to jump over there, right? Well, we're gonna go that for looks it. Looks like it. That better be it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're okay. We're good. Good so far. That was weird. It's like a slow motion. Slow mo jump. jump in the air. And we're gonna end it pretty soon here because I think you're getting a good idea of what this game is about. Yeah. But there is a part over here I want everyone to see, which I think is so cool. And um, it's that scene with the uh, the submarine sticking out of the water. Oh, really? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you. I, I, just... I haven't played the first one, just so everyone knows. I played through the second one and third one. I never played the, th- the first one. I think that's when the game hooked me, was that part in the game where you go you go to the sub in the middle of the forest, sitting at like a, like a almost like a waterfall area. Uh-huh. Nice. So... It, and you go in inside of it and explore it, but in order to get to it, you're like basically going like this high canyon wall, sheer cliff, and you go around it to get to the sub, which is oh, really? it's an amazing part of the game. I just, uh, I think that's what hooked me to the game, is just that element of it. Oh, nice. I think there's a cutscene, yep. Yeah. Look at him. These people, they're worshiping the dead. This thing? Of course. The hell, 
Eldorado. Would you ever go into like a a forgotten temple like this <laughs> and get trapped inside and try to figure out how to get out? Like if, F all that. If I got trapped inside, yeah, yeah. man, like jeez. <laughs> I don't even think I would attempt to go in there. There's a I think there's a treasure up here. But I played through a good chunk of the game already, so I think I've already picked this up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, there's something there. there. This is the treasure that uh, Nick was talking about. There's a little shiny. Yeah, you see him like shine. It's a silver turtle. How about that? <laughs> and here's that part. And we're going to end it right here. It's just amazing. I, I love this scene. traverse around like the waterfall area and kind of get to it it's pretty cool so it's a submarine yeah it explains why it's there it's it makes no sense but it's really cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so uh that was uh uncharted one in the nathan drake collection nick would you recommend to buy this yes i, 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 would, I would even recommend if you have a ps3 to buy them all really good game PS3. <laughs> really good franchise great yeah. franchise and uh, super excited for Uncharted 4 that's coming out here really soon. Uh -huh. This is exclusive to the PlayStation 4, so uh, sorry, you Xbox fanboys. You have to go buy a PlayStation in order to play this thing. PlayStation 4, anyways. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Until next time.